Hello everyone, how are you today? It's good to see you again. I'm in the cathedral and I've got a paper plate and I've got some wool and I've got some scissors. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut into my paper plate there, like this all the way around. Remember we did this when we were weaving our mandalas, our special pattern things we made before. Now I'm going to count how many flaps I've made. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now ten is an even number and I need an odd number. So I need to cut one of my flaps in like that. So now I've got eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then I'm going to take my wool and I'm going to put my wool in between two bits like that. And then remember how we do weaving? We go in and out like this. Round and round and round. And we keep on going round and round and round. So this looks how we started doing weaving before. But in a minute, it's going to start getting a bit different. Can you guess what's going to happen in a minute? No, because you don't know what I'm doing. You think I might just be making a pattern. How many times do you think I've got to go around? I think it's going to be lots. What have I done with my bit of spool? There it is. Then as I go around, I'm going to start pulling these bits up. Like this and up like that. So I'm going to make sure I do it tight. I'm doing is I'm putting them all the way around. And do you know what I'm making? What I'm doing is I'm putting the wool around so in the end all the bits will lift up. So I've got to this stage and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some bits off in each section. Like this. So can you see that I'm getting a gap between my flaps? and I'm being careful not to cut the wool. We do the wool to begin with, so that it gets stuck on before we start doing this bit. Because today I'm not making a flat pattern like we did before, like a spider's web. I'm making a basket. So what I want to do is for all my flaps to end up standing up and as we carry on weaving that will happen but it's going to take a little while because weaving is hard work and we all know that because we've all done it before but it's worth it and it's something we can just sit here and do and enjoy doing i left a bit of that flap in there let me take that bit off and I'll carry on going round and round and round and round. How long do you think it would take you to fill all this with wool? And remember before we change colour in the wool, we can do that. I can make just an orange basket or I could make stripy bits. If you have a look, can you see how the bits of my basket are starting to stand up now. Can you see how they're coming up as I do the weaving round? Now the reason I'm making a basket, if you've seen one of the stories we read in the Bible this morning, was about Moses. And Moses was one of the leaders, of the really special people for the Hebrew people. That is the Jewish people in the Jewish bit of the Bible that we read. But when Moses was born, he wasn't called Moses. We don't know what his real mother called him. 
but he was born at a time when the Hebrew people were slaves for the Egyptian people. And the Pharaoh, the king of the Egyptians, was really worried because there were lots and lots of strong young Hebrew people being born. And he was worried that the Hebrews wouldn't stay being slaves, that they would take control of the Egyptians. So he made a horrible law. He made a law that said, if the Hebrew people had boy babies, the boy babies had to be killed. That's a really horrible thing to do, isn't it? Which meant that the Hebrew mummies and daddies had to hide their baby boys or they would be killed. Well, Moses' mum didn't know what to do with her lovely baby boy. And in the end, they had an idea. She and her daughter made a special basket. See, like we're making baskets this morning. And the ba basket was the right size to fit the baby Moses in. And when they had finished the basket, they made sure to make it was water, sure it was waterproof by putting lots of sticky mud and clay to cover all the holes in the basket. And when everything was watertight, they floated the baby down the river towards where the Pharaoh's daughter was, and she was a princess. And she and her ladies who were with her suddenly noticed this beautiful baby floating down the river, and they thought he was lovely. And she decided to look after the baby and bring him, bring him up as her boy. So Moses wasn't killed and Moses survived. And when Moses grew up, he became the leader of the Hebrew people and led them out of Egypt. But Moses was the name that the Pharaoh princess gave him. We don't know what his real name would have done, but we know he was very, very special. So do you think you could make a basket? If you're coming into the cathedral, we have wool and plates here, and you can make a basket like this. I might even have finished mine by then, and you might be able to see it on the table. You could make a basket out of anything you wanted, and then you might have a small doll, or you might want to make a baby to put in your basket to remind you of the story of Moses. Do you think you could do that? I think you could. So I'm going to say goodbye now, and I'll see you later. Stay safe. Bye.